Hey guys, it's Mike here from Unique Mechanics with another awesome car review. Today I have the uh, 2017 A7S line by Audi. What a beautiful car. What a gorgeous car. As you can see there, those are the 19 inch Audi wheels. Those are the five spokes. Aren't they beautiful? When I saw those wheels, I was really impressed because I actually love the way that they look. Hopefully you guys are not getting too much wind. Let's take a look at the front first and then we'll go all throughout the car. Beautiful Xeon lights, gorgeous daytime running lights. This is a V6. Let's do a quick uh, all around view real quick before we get into it. I've always been a huge fan of the A7s. They've really outdone themselves in the most recent years. Really, really, really putting together that whole racing as well as luxury package for the Audi. I'm going to show you what it looks like with all four doors closed as well. I actually love that when you close the door, it actually almost creates this suction sound for uh, automatic tightening. It's really cool. Look how beautiful this car looks. From every angle when I look at this car, it's, I mean, it's incredible. From a lot of the other Audis that I've recently done, this is this might be my favorite. I mean, just the overall design of the car is what really makes me attracted to the car. You know, I'm not a huge engine guy, but I do love a really nice interior. Let's just take a quick look at the sticker. So this is a 2017 Audi A7 Quattro. For all you don't know, Quattro means all-wheel drive, okay? This is a eight-speed Tiptronic transmission, and certainly it is a 333 horsepower V6 engine. That's pretty impressive. This thing is so freaking awesome. I had to get this in immediately and show you guys what the 2017s look like. We're going to look at the engine, we're going to take it for a ride, but before we do all that, I really just want to show you what the exterior looks like. If some of you that have never seen it, up front and close. Alright, so before we go inside, I wanted to show you guys the key. This is a brand new all 2017 Audi key for the A7. It's actually really, really nice. I love the way that they did the plastic with the little shiny plastic and some of the stainless steel right here. It is freaking awesome. So this is the lock button, the trunk, unlock, panic. Certainly you could press this and this comes apart and you have your valet key. All right? All right, let's go ahead and go inside. All right, what do we have here? Fantastic. Fantastic. This is beautiful. All right, first impression is absolutely um, out of this world. Okay, I'm a huge fanatic of the A7s, um, as I mentioned to you guys on the outside, the exterior, as well as the beautiful interior. Um, on the 27s, they do have this beautifully new done uh, steering wheel that kind of indents right here. Um, I do wish that they had a lot more functionality, like the, uh, the entire dash was digital, as they have on the new A4s. You could actually see the link right above at the right there for the A4 Prestige 2017 video that I did. So let's let's start. I mean, um, before anything, this is cool. Click this button right here. And nice little screen comes out. 
love that. So this car has everything. So so nice. Um, let's start. Let's talk about the doors first, okay? So this entire car is fully equipped. First of all, with a Bose sound system. I'm just saying that because I see the speaker right here. Um, you can open your trunk from right here. This little button. This door is so well done. Beautifully nice padded brown leather all throughout. Really nice um, design interior right here with a beautiful uh, stainless steel trim. So you have your uh, open and close right here for all the doors. You can set your memory for uh, wherever you position your driver's seat. Of course here you have your uh, window you know, up and down as well as uh, your mirrors and everything like that. On this panel right here this is just like your uh, lights, your headlights. Overall, it's the dash is done really nice. I love the layout. You know, Audi has changed its layouts throughout the years, and uh, they're really doing a great job of what it looks like. Also, I wanted to point out right here, right by the mirror. So this is just your uh, your sensor if there's a car on the side of you. Let's talk about the middle compartment here. So what do we got here? Basically, you have your uh, entertainment center right here. It's all controlled right from here. You can click on nav, and that'll bring up the navigation. You could also zoom in and zoom out right from this function right here, as you can see there. Wow, that is extremely responsive and really, really nice. I think in the next three years, I might have to go with an Audi. I think overall, the German design and the German uh, assembly really shows the quality in certain aspects of the car and those are sort you know certain small aspects that I actually appreciate a vehicle when I'm you know if, if if you're a daily commuter and you have some significant driving to do I mean if you could afford an Audi I would say do it because this is definitely an everyday driving machine you know it's it's, it's really special to own one of these you know this will set you back around seventy five thousand dollars so of course this does have a uh, uh, multimedia center. It's got your uh, CD and DVD right there. This is your... Um, I like how this comes on off automatically, but you could turn this on if you wanted to. So basically when you're at a... when you stop for a little bit of time and you uh, and you have this on, your car, the ignition will turn off for that time and then it'll restart as you start moving. Okay? So that's what that does. Uh, basically, again, this is your multimedia center. You have your uh, functionality for air conditioning and AC and, and heat right through here. You could actually just click that and it'll get going. I don't want to turn it on because what will happen is it just gets too loud and windy and it's hitting the microphone. So unfortunately, I can't have it on. Uh, here you have your emergency brake. Uh, this is your uh, basically your memory pad for the different type of radio channels that you are looking at here. So if I click on radio here, all right, that comes up automatically. And there you go. All right. What I want to do is turn that off, and you could actually turn that off from right for here, and you could do volume as you can see right there. Okay, and this is a little functionality that does the button as well as the uh, different tracks or, or kind of pushing you across different uh, channels. You could also do it from this. Okay, so it's kind of where your hand is. Of course, this is your start engine button. It's a little far. It's interesting that it's all the way over here on the passenger side. Um, but it's interesting. So you also click on media right from here. And uh, if you had anything connected into the media, it will obviously pull up. You can click on car. And this is um, a, a newer look of what Audi's been doing for the last two years regarding there. Basically, you could switch between comfort, auto, dynamic, or individual modes for the driving experience. There's a lot of different cool functionality that Audi's been doing. So it's, um, it's really nice to see. Of course, you have your telephone function if you click on that. It'll bring up your uh, telephone information, and if you have Bluetooth connectivity to the car, uh, from there it'll connect to your phone, and you can go ahead and um, use hands-free calling. Um, right here, this is obviously just a small storage for your drinks. I keep my cell phone in there now. 
right here you can push this back just an additional space really nicely done you push it upward and it comes slides right back overall the you know Audi always does fantastic work with the interiors it just feels overall really really high-end really great quality and um, you know, if you guys have already have driven an Audi before, I just wanted to give you a full overview as well as my driving experience through this 2017 A7. So, you know, what I have to say, the interior is superb. It's a, it's an A+. It's a home run. And uh, this would be a car that I would purchase and drive as my daily car. Beautifully done. Leather. I like how the stitching matches the brown. So in a lot of cars, you'll actually see a lot of cars kind of going away you know let's say you have black leather they do maybe a white or a gray stitching and that's all great but I actually like it's it it gives it a nicer softer look but also beautiful all at the same time this car also does have a sunroof and you can actually control everything from right from here okay these are your lights okay you could do a rear light for the back this is of course for your garages you could click on this so uh, the light turns on when the doors open and of course this button right here it pushes the uh, the sunroof open it's actually a really nice fairly large sunroof awesome I'll actually keep it open for now what a fantastic car all right, just want to show you guys what the back looks like. So again, really nice done doors. I mean, they do have an ashtray in the back here. Not many cars have that, but Audi does. Just wanted to give you guys an overall picture of what the back looks like here. You have your nice little center right here. So from here, you can control your heated seats. You can control the AC functionality from right here as well. You can also press on that. And there's two, um, you know, uh, lighter things that you can basically power certain things with I don't think you would need two actual lighters but other than that all oh, is real nice they also have the AC vent right here indented into the door really well done all right guys let's go ahead and go for a ride in this uh, 2017 a7 I am almost at the point where I'm gonna have some hands-free set up just in a little bit of time right now unfortunately I still have to hold the camera I already have my new kind of action cam that I'll be using but I haven't got my uh, I haven't got the uh, suction mount yet so the new gear is coming and I am really excited to start doing a lot better reviews a lot more in depth these are all the reviews that I've recently been doing are very preliminary just so you guys know there's going to be a lot better production and so forth on a lot of my videos that I'll be doing. So stay tuned. But for now, let me give you this type of uh, view. Let's do it. Let's go for a quick ride. Oh my God. This thing is like a dream. Let me go ahead and close the sunroof real quick. Wow, this thing drive so smoothly I might I mean I don't even know what to say honestly as I'm as I'm gripping the steering wheel I, I literally feel like this is my car I want to take it home I really want to take it home this is this is perfect oh my god and the fact that it's all-wheel drive just makes things in such a different perspective because it's like all terrain in a, in a sense I mean obviously you're not going up uh, mountains but the fact that you could uh, have such a slick beautiful ride on every day um, just uh, you just won't have that type of uh, ride when you're in the snow but the fact is that I know that I have all-wheel drive is just freaking awesome let's quickly go in here and we'll turn around Wow. So, I mean, <laughs> I didn't realize, I've never driven a, uh, an A7 yet. And uh, I never realized on how awesome the ride is. I mean, how freaking smooth it is. 
It is so smooth. It is so nice. I didn't know what to expect, but now I know. And uh, now I know that my next car has to be an A7. It has to be. Well, let's let it rip a little bit here. Whoa. I, uh, uh. Listen, I might have not given you every single spec that's necessary on the A7 Quattro 2017, but I will tell you this. I will tell you this, mark my words, you need to buy this car if you're in a market for a $75,000 car. This is your car. Do you realize how nice this car is? Holy... Oh my God. This is so spectacular. The comfort of this ride is, is mind-blowing. I am... I am... Um, I don't even know. I'm frazzled by the fact that how this car drives, the quality of the smoothness of the drive, and especially the uh, just the overall comfort levels. The I, I already could feel that this thing could rip right off the starting line. I know that it could go so freaking fast. Wow. That is so great. So we're just going to go right up this road and after that probably turn around. Let me just give you guys another overall look of what, I, of what I'm seeing in my POV view. This thing is great. So overall, as you know, this car is super nice. Um, I have to say that the entire interior is made of pure quality. Um, the inside stitching as well as the entire trim is is packing an impeccable amount of kind of luxury. I mean, I'm looking into it and there's nothing but super high-end quality from the actual trim to the interior to everything else that I'm seeing all throughout the entire car. Wow, this is the perfect day to go for a really nice ride. Perfect day. I wish you guys were in here with me to really feel what I'm feeling with the with the A7 here. Let's go ahead and turn around real quick. And that's it guys. I hope you guys had a uh, great time with me. And look out for more videos. I have a lot more to come.